Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here and welcome back to the Sunday recap, my weekly vlog where I talk a little bit about my last week in gaming. And as always, we'll start with EVE Online and it's been a pretty amazing week in EVE Online. In fact, it's been two awesome weeks in EVE Online and I must say I took the right two weeks off from work uh, because last week we had the Titan fight, of course, that was a pretty cool video that came out of that and uh, pretty awesome to see thousands of people uh, fighting each other with the biggest ships in EVE Online. And then this week we had the first destruction of a keep star on TQ. That was really amazing as well. Um, not only uh, did I get some awesome footage out of that uh, and I got a great uh, tweet uh, reception as well uh, when I showed the uh, all of the Titans warping back to the keep star uh, after downtime on their first login. That was pretty damn amazing. Uh, but uh, now in the latest scope video CCP actually used some of my footage as well. That's quite an honor uh, and definitely one of the highlights in my EVE career so far. Pretty, pretty awesome reception overall and uh, a great two weeks in EVE Online with a couple of really big fights and, uh, and big events. Uh, I'm also looking forward to some of the other stuff that's going to happen in EVE Online after the summer. Normally, we'll have the coronation of the next Empress of the Amar Empire. What I'm personally hoping for is that it will actually kick off some more live events, maybe a complete story arc. That would be pretty cool. Uh, and of course, I'm uh, eagerly awaiting any information on the industrial arrays. When it comes to normal gameplay in EVE Online, uh, despite having off from work, I must say I played around an average amount of EVE Online, uh, just a bit of mining, I'm mostly just keeping up with my blueprint copy business, which is not going that well at the moment. I must be honest, there are a few strong ones that still sell very well, but uh, a lot of the other ones just have way too much competition uh, going in them and uh, it's, it's just not selling. I'm definitely, again, uh, building up my stocks of uh, blueprint copies because uh, my uh, my contracts are lapsing they're just not getting sold and uh, it's pretty tricky i may need to find a different tactic uh, uh, to to uh, actually find some customers maybe move to uh, amar and odixi try and do some sales over there or something like that uh, but at the moment it's it's a cutthroat business there's a lot of competition and uh, the money has uh, slowed down to a trickle on only a few select blueprint copies so we'll see Hopefully after the summer with activity picking up, it's going to be a bit easier. Uh, but at the moment, it's basically a lot of work just to try and, and find the right niches and just to try and unload some of my blueprint copies. Um, other than that, yeah, as always, just a little bit of mining, a bit of industry, uh, a bit of hauling as well, because I had to uh, empty my uh, planets as well for PI. That was a few hundred million extra. Um, and I grabbed some of my research agents, uh, research points as well, uh, which uh, netted me a bit more ISK as well. I'm now comfortably uh, over 3 billion ISK in the wallet, so I do think I'm pretty much ready for all the blueprints for the industrial arrays, all the rigs, all the uh, new modules that should be coming out with uh, that. But uh, yeah, it's a bit up in the air whether this is coming in September or November. Uh, considering we still don't have dev block, I think it's most likely that uh, we'll see the industrial arrays come in November. But uh, EVE Online, um, yeah, a couple of really big events in the last two weeks. That was pretty awesome to witness. And uh, now I'm basically ready to go back to work, back to the regular schedule. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys some more awesome stuff uh, once they are released in the fall and winter releases. Uh, next to EVE Online, uh, in the first part of the week, I played some more Fallout 4, just uh, keeping it up with my Minutemen uh, production there, right? Uh, so uh, getting more settlements going, uh, giving everyone their uniforms, giving as m many as I can miniguns and then just have them roam around uh, the Commonwealth. It's, it's pretty fun. I also went back to uh, Far Harbor a little bit. I opened up a settlement there, which uh, funnily enough, you can just have um, a supply route from any settlement in the Commonwealth to any settlement in Far Harbor. That does make it pretty good, but uh, you'll probably want to use robots for that. I used one of my big sentry robots uh, to actually connect that settlement because, well, there is this fog that constantly hangs around in Far Harbor uh, that uh, I don't think is very healthy for regular people. So um, it's, it's going pretty well, but I also slow down in the second half of the week because next week the final DLC, Nuka-Cola World, should be um, should be coming out and uh, I'll, I'll check that out see if I uh, I'll definitely play through it maybe I'll cover it as well we'll see if I think it's worth it or not uh, but I must say my character is a little bit overpowered at the moment very high level got some really good legendary weapons uh, got a, a fully upgraded uh, 
suit as well and so uh, we'll see how I handle the final DLC how I cover it uh, one thing that I'm still toying with is maybe at some point I'll do uh, a playthrough in survival mode uh, my brother has been doing that he says it's pretty challenging at first and uh, you definitely need to switch your tactic tactics around quite a little bit because of uh, some of the restrictions that uh, uh, are in um, in survival mode of Fallout 4. So I think it's a great game. Looking forward to the final DLC and uh, we'll see how all of that plays out in the upcoming weeks as well. Um, next up, Elder Scrolls Legends. Uh, played that almost every day, basically keeping up with the daily quests is what I've been doing. Um, it's been going uh, worse, I must say, at first, when because the game was so new and I actually mon managed to get in in the closed beta. I was really competitive. Uh, rank 5, rank 4 uh, were doable matches, but now the meta is developing and I'm not keeping up with that. Um, so matches are pretty hard and in fact I can't get back above rank 6. Uh, so I'm getting stomped quite often in just uh, the regular play. But it's not only there in, uh, in versus arena. People are figuring out correct builds for the arena much more as well. It's much more competitive. It's getting harder and harder to get the 7 wins out of the, the versus arena. And in fact, I, I had a scout deck with two legendaries. I thought it was really pretty damn strong and I got zero wins, three losses uh, on that arena run. It was pretty crazy. Uh, the RNG was definitely not with me uh, that day, but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely evolving very quickly. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Legends meta is forming. People are building specific decks rush decks defensive decks and in the arena more and more players actually know what they're doing as so you're getting uh, quite a bit more stiff competition uh, for uh, for all the wins there which is, is great for the game it's just not good for the amount of effort i have to put in in order to actually complete all of my quests but I still think it's a fun uh, card game. Uh, I have to be honest, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep it up. But at the moment, I'm doing quite all right, just keeping up with the daily quests. And then when I get enough card packs, just uh, quickly opening them up, see if I can increase uh, the percentage of my collection and uh, just uh, yeah, take it, uh, take it easy from there. I feel it's quite doable because you have three slots for daily quests. And so if you want to, you can skip two days and then just focus on the third day, get your three daily quests out. Uh, out of the way grab the gold and then just uh, yeah play the game as you enjoy it so all right elder scrolls legends uh still going for that one uh, but uh, what i switched to uh, in the second half of the week basically from fallout 4 is diablo 3 because season 7 uh, was live um, i made a wizard basically played through season 7 already uh, in around 20 hours or something like that uh, i still think it's pretty fun um, but the biggest advantage for me personally is that the Diablo 3 seasonal experience can also be pretty casual if you want to. Uh, the first parts are just uh, very, very easy to play through. Getting to level 70 is hardly a challenge anymore. Um, then it's just about knowing a little bit of how you're preparing yourself right for Can Ice Cube. Uh, get a few legendaries, get, uh, get a few legendary powers into Can Ice Cube and then off you go try to finish the uh, the fourth uh, chapter of the season and uh, that takes a bit of work a bit of grinding a bit of effort but once you're there you get your full set of armor and uh, yeah off you go especially with the wizard uh, the uh, the increase in power is absolutely mind-boggling um, but that's also something that i've been playing a little bit i don't think i plan to grind out a lot of time uh, in diablo 3 basically play the seasons grab the rewards a new pet a new uh, a new frame for your character and a new set of gear as well um, and uh, after that i'll just wait for the next season i'm, I'm very pleased with uh, just playing diablo 3 in this casual manner but uh, i'm also giving you guys a bit of a heads up that uh, season 7 is alive and that i'm actually participating in that a little bit just don't expect me to uh, go for top spots or anything like that or to bring a lot of videos uh, on diablo 3 uh, that's that's not what i'm looking for here i'm looking for a very casual experience uh, honestly if i want something a bit more hardcore a bit more 
uh, grindy if I want more time I'll probably switch back to some path of exile at some point it's just not in the cards at the moment time wise for me uh, but uh, yeah been a pretty good week uh, definitely an awesome week in EVE Online with all the awesome battles that I managed to cover and uh, in general I feel pretty relaxed I've, uh, I've uh, managed to rest up quite a bit as well so I think I'm uh, ready to go back uh, to work and uh, to keep up with the regular schedule on the channel as well thank you very much for watching guys i'll see you all next time